Hey guys, today we're talking about Fang Leon 130W2D. This is Kiyoyo's Beyblade in the third season, but we're gonna be taking a look at the Hasbro version. Same thing with Cosmic Pegasus. This is a watered down version. Uh, it doesn't come with the two separate wheels that the Takara Tomy version does. It does, however, come with the same track and tip, unlike Cosmic Pegasus, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna be trying this out for attack today, and we're just gonna see how it goes. Uh, there is a weight uh, difference between the TT1 and the Hasbro 1, although it's not quite as much, about 7 grams. And there is a difference between the clear wheels as well, the TT1 coming in at almost 3 grams, and the Hasbro 1 coming in at about 2.5. So our combo is going to consist of Metal Face Heavy, Fang, Sagittario 2 from Flash Sagittario, and CH120 RF. So I chose the Sagittario 2 ring because it kind of sits a little higher, and it adds a little more reach, so hopefully that's gonna help out against things like Flame 230. So first up, we're gonna try it against some stock combos and we're gonna see how it does against those. First up is Rock Orso, Nawaguma's Beyblade from Metal Masters. If you're not subscribed, feel free to hit that sub button. A large portion of you guys are not currently subscribed, and I've got a ton of Beyblade content, so I'd appreciate that. This was an easy sweep for Fang, so we'll move on to the next one with Rock Zarafa, the Sean Wong's Beyblade. and Fang takes it to one. Next up is Earth Eagle, Subasa's Beyblade. Two zero for Fang. Next up is Grand Cetus, Sophie's Beyblade. Another two zero victory. Next up is Ray Gill, Argo's Beyblade. And a quick 2-0. Next up, let's put it against some common competitive combos. And first, we're going to be trying Virgo on BD. So that was a KO for Fang. It exited the stadium, just bounced back in. It revs up nicely on the Tornado Ridge there and is able to get a KO. It can be kind of hard for Fang to deal with Virgo, to be honest. It's not super, super consistent KOing this. Virgo's, Virgo's kind of challenging to knock out. And next up, Earth on 90 CS. I 
feel like Fang really needs like a good setup to KO most of these. It can do it, but it's, I just don't think it's very consistent, so. Next, Bakushin Leon, 85 Rubber Shark. I think I've mentioned it before, but Bakushin does really well at sort of throwing attack types out of a flower pattern because they just kind of roll off the top of the wheel. Next up is Flame 230 CS, and we are going to change the height on the CH120 on Fang to make it a little taller. And we're going to hope that the Sagittario 2 ring helps kind of throw it off balance a little bit. That little bit of extra height seems to be working and catching the bottom side of the flame wheel to throw it off balance, which is exactly what we want. It runs out of stamina before it's able to make any meaningful contact though, so hopefully in the next round we'll see some KOs. That's exactly what we want. We just want to tilt the wheel, the flame wheel, just a little bit for Fang to make good contact. It doesn't work in our favor every time, but it's it's all right. It's pretty decent. Let me know what you think of this combo, guys. Drop a like, leave a comment letting me know what you'd like me to take a look at, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.